Yes, guys, it's Rio Ferdinand. I'm here. Um, this is Vibe with Five. Make sure you subscribe and turn the notification buttons on to Five on YouTube channel, man. Listen, it's the best place to catch content for me and everything outside the 90 minutes. Yeah? You come here, you get it all live and direct. Listen, man, the Ten Hag agreement is there in principle, we're being told. Ten Hag, man. He's been at Ajax um, since 2017. He's won the title twice. He's probably going to do the League and Cup double this season. Um, listen, it, it, he reached the semi-final with, with, against Spurs. Obviously, they got beat, knocked out by Spurs in 2019. They play a really, really exciting brand of football, attacking. And I'm sure he's learned a lot from Pep. He was, he, he was in the, the building at Bayern Munich when Pep was there for two years managing the second team. So he's been at a big club. And I think that's a lot of people saying he's not been at a big club. He's been in the background at a big club. Bayern Munich are a huge club, one of the biggest in the, in, in the world. He was there when Pep was there, who we consider, I think, universally as like the best manager, manager of this era. Klopp, arguably, will be in that conversation as well. Um, but he's been with one of the biggest, biggest players in the game um, as a coach. So he understands what it's like at a big club what, with huge demands, something like what May United will be like. Um, and most importantly as well, he's been around big players. Yes, not as a manager, but he's sat in the background and watched and seen how they're handled by someone like Pep and his staff. He's seen how they react to certain situations, I'm sure. Um, so he has the experience of being around big players. And I think that a, a, a huge part of what he has to get right when he goes into Manchester United is going to be getting it right with players because we've seen many managers now who have far more experience, who have won much more than Ten Hag, bigger reputations um, that have come in and have been chewed up by this football club and spat out. Um, and the players are still the same, basically. They're still basically the same players. So he has to find a way of getting in there and managing the personalities, the characters, the egos that are in there. Um, and I know I sound like a broken record, but the thing that he's got to do first and foremost is, is change the culture, bring a new culture and drive it. He has to do that. That is a massive, massive part of if he's going to be successful or not. And I know people are talking about, oh, the club needs a revamp in terms of the training ground needs redeveloping, the stadium needs... That can all happen. But first and foremost, we need to see a change on that pitch, in that training ground, with the players. And he has to drive that. Him and his coaching staff, who's he bringing? We're hearing reports about Robin Van, Van Persie, um, Rene Moudenstein, Steve McLaren. So these, these are guys that... that all understand what it means to be at Man United. All understand the standards that are needed to be successful. They know how to win at this club and they know what's expected, most importantly, at this club. Um, but I have to take my hat off to him um, because this is a risk. As I said to you, many managers have been spat out here and he's, he's got good stock in the game at the moment, valued and looked at as a very good coach. Um, and he's coming in and, and he's risking that. Because I think everybody on the planet will sit there and go, the first thing you say are, the new Man United have got a new manager who's coming in. Who is it? Oh, it's, it's, it's Ten Hag. <sighs> tough job, that, isn't it? It's a tough job. Really is a tough job. Like So listen, no one's saying that his sign still delivers. There's an agreement in principle, they're telling us. But I think he'll be having conversations. He'll be talking to people like Rene, to Robin Van Persie, to Yap Stam, to Edwin van der Sar, I'm sure, about what it is like at Man United, what's expected, what can he expect when he comes through that, that door. And what he'll have there is he'll have players, I'm sure, who are sitting there and waiting and saying, please take us on this journey. Take us on a journey now where we can be a good team again, where we can build something. And what Man United need now is somebody to bring in, change the culture, yes, but enable them to, to, to have a sustained Sustain, is that the right way to say it? But the, sustainable success, sustainable challenges for the big titles, for the big trophies. 
I mean, anyone you could come in and you can you can challenge for a trophy here or there, but that's not what you want. You want somebody who's going to come in and put you at the top and challenge. I said it on Vibe Five earlier in the week, by the way. I don't see anyone winning this league yet until Pep and or Klopp go, or vice versa. I think they're that far ahead of everybody else. Um, but if one of them was to go, like next season or something like that, which I don't see happening, but if one of them was to go, Man United aren't ready yet. We're not, we haven't got the foundations in place to be able to mount a challenge if an opportunity comes with one of those managers leaving. So we've got time now with this manager. That's what he needs, that's important part as well. Give him the time, needs the time to build. I'm really interested to see who he goes to in terms of recruitment. What's it looking like behind the scenes? And I know the guys that are there at the moment are, are really working diligently to try and get something in place, a structure in place that enables the manager, whoever it is, if it's Ten Hag, to come in and have a real good a, a go at getting the right talent. And I think it's about, as well, that conversation with Ten Hag and the, 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 the people that are running the club in, how is the recruitment done? What players are coming in? This is my style of player. Is that being driven? The key conversation is, who's that being driven by? Is that being driven by the manager who's incoming or is that the recruitment staff that are saying, whoa, 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 this is the Man United player. This is the DNA. This is what we want. Those are the conversations that I'm sure are happening and I'm sure in time when it all unfolds, we'll start to get a better understanding because I think, listen, recruitment hasn't been good enough. I think if people are honest at the football club, they'll say the recruitment has not been good enough for a long time, not talking this last couple of windows, I'm talking a over eight to 10 years maybe since Alex Ferguson left, it hasn't been good enough. Um, so that needs to improve drastically, getting the right players in, not necessarily the, the, the world superstars, but getting the right characters and personalities to come in and help drive a culture that's going to enable us to be challenging for a sustainable amount of time, not just a here today, gone tomorrow concept. Um, and that's vitally important. So, yeah, man, in the next window that's coming, I want to see, like, if this Ten Hag is the manager, what type of player is he going to be bringing in? Because it's very different to be recruiting a player for Ajax than it is for someone like Man United. The expectations, the pressure. Have they got the right character, the right minerals to handle what the de demands are at Man United. The demands here at Man United are very different to the demands that are at Ajax. No disrespect to Ajax, who have big demands in their country, but this is on a worldwide scale now. Very different. You make a mistake at Man United, it's worldwide news across different media platforms, etc., all over the place. Very different to Ajax, with, no, with no, all respect, all due respect, but... I'm really interested to see, I'm really intrigued to see what coaching staff he brings in, what, what, even he, he, I'm sure we'll get the right sound bites out of him at the beginning, but it's, we judge him over a long period of time and, and Man United again, it's not about right now, you want this to be lasting for the next 10 years. Man United you, was used to having managers that have been here for long periods and, and we've gone away from that and it needs to change. And I just hope that this guy's the man. And listen, people saying to me, oh, would you have taken Ten Hag? Would you have taken him? I don't know. I don't think there was a candidate out there that I'm looking at and going, he was hands down the favourite choice. He was the one who I was looking at and going, that is the guy who's going to take us from where we are now to back up to the top, challenging Man City and Liverpool to win titles. There was no outstanding candidate that was had like that overwhelming, like, yeah, he's the guy. It wasn't. But Man United brings someone in, the fan base have to back that guy. Back him. Give him time. Allow him to build pieces. We might have to have a little period of a little bit of hurt, a little bit of pain still, while he's like, like going through the, the, the pack and looking at what he's got, looking at who he's got, who, who's going to stay. Ralph Ranyak's partner, what's he going to be saying? What's his input? Is he going to be saying to Ten Hag, listen, my experiences with him wasn't so great. This is the profile of all the players that he's got there, who he thinks that we should go get, get out of the club and whatnot. That's going to be an interesting conversation. All the dynamics that are going to be going on behind the scenes. Who wouldn't love to be a fly on the wall now? I'd love to be in there seeing it all unfold. But I just hope the guys who are in there are strong, make the right decisions. Um, for the future of the football club.
because we've been it's been hard for too long. So um, yeah, man, that's my take, guys. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn your no notification buttons on on the Five YouTube, and this is the best place for content where you can catch from me and all the guys at Five for everything outside of the ninety minutes. Vibe with Five, Five. Let's go.